Welcome to Ruthie Case. Here we are today and we're going to be making masks. Um, so I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what I do when I make a bunch of masks. This is a bulk order and doing bulk orders is different than doing a one-time thing or when we sew at home because when we sew at home and we've been through sewing class and home economics in school we're taught to match threads exactly we're taught to um, make sure everything is square when you're doing mass we want to do all of that and we want it to look that way but we're not going to match the threads exactly we're going to do the best we can because a lot of times we can't match the threads exactly when we're doing a lot in bulk this happens to be an order for 35 masks let me show you what that looks like That stack is 35 masks. Some of them are going to have ties and some of them are going to um, have earpieces. At Ruthie K's, the majority of our masks have ties. Why I put ties on them was because I wear glasses and I don't like a lot of stuff behind my ears. It's also easier to custom fit a tie because you can do that yourself than it is to custom fit an earpiece. Because to custom fit an earpiece, you ideally would have to measure each person from here to here, cheek side to cheek side, because that's pretty much how much we want to cover, and from here to here, and then measure that distance to the ear and around. And you know what? Most of the time, I'm not going to see every single person that buys my masks. So that's why I don't do that. I see a lot of masks that are too small. Let me grab one over here from my, my stack. This mask is an adult size mask. When I put it here, see it goes from side to side and that's nine inches. This fits the average person to where it's going to definitely cover the whole mouth area and be snug. This is seven inches and it will fit under your glasses and come under your chin and stay there when we tie these back and they can be tied together in the back or they can be tied singly, whichever works for you. I like to make cute masks. This is a puppy mask. Because if we're going to wear them, I believe they should be fun. Even my plain masks usually will have a different colored tie. And we'll go into why I make my masks the way I do in another session. But that's the basics of the types of masks that we make. And I do make the oblong ones because, again, they fit more people. Okay? We do make child's masks, toddler's masks, and adult masks. And I can make an extra big mask if somebody needs that. Now, I'm going to just aim my camera down here and I'm going to sew the masks. machine has a needle down function which is really nice because that makes making those turns really easy. Just stop and make sure that that's smooth because we want that to be smooth. Take a peek in there make sure my elastic is in there because this is a mask with elastic in the earpiece.
the masks I sew the wrong side, flip it, and then I sew the other side. I'm going to make one full mask here, but what I usually do is mass produce them. So I'd take that whole stack of masks over there and I would actually do them all at one time. So here I have an opening and I reach in that opening and I just turn my mask right side out. Like I say, what I'd normally do is sew all of them at one time and then I'd turn them all and then I'll do the top stitching on all the rest of them. And with practice, you can do all of this in about 10 minutes a mask. Or less. So then, all folded, looks like that. And I have this open hole here, which I'm going to close by just top stitching it. Top stitching is where I sew close to the edge. On the top. So it's a seam that you actually do see on the top. So we do want it to be fairly straight. In mass producing, when you top stitch, you always, at that point, use a thread that's intentionally contrasting or matches your fabric. And I like to go a shade darker. Some people like to go a shade lighter. To me, a shade lighter shows up more than a shade darker. So if I intend to have my top stitching really show, I'll go a shade lighter. completed mask with earpieces. Now, if the earpieces are too loose, all you have to do is tie a little knot in them. This is a little bit loose because you do want your mask, by the way, to fit snug. Because what we want it to do, since we use 100% cotton, is actually have it form into your face. Then it sticks to your face and helps do everything that it's supposed to do. So there's our lesson for today on making masks. Except I wasn't recording. Hmm.